Hi everybody, my name is Joe. Welcome to my channel where I help you make better coffee and I give you honest reviews. Today I'm going to do a little uh, overview on the settings on the Terra Cafe. I've had a lot of people ask me to give you the settings that I do for like the Americanos and the Espressos and all that stuff. So I'm going to go through and give you those settings. Uh, try to answer anybody's questions. If you are in the chat, just leave them in the comment section uh, on the live chat. And I'll try to get to your question about this machine or if you have any other questions to so go ahead and shoot them in there. So um, on the right here, I have a cappuccino. And on the left here, I have a latte. So uh, I'm going to show you the settings and kind of my reasoning for doing some of these. So uh, camera wife, if you want to come in here and kind of give people the, the screen here, the detailed look at the screen. So... Um, the first one is the espresso. So this machine does not do, it doesn't give you a, a large double shot. The highest you could do is 12 grams, which is probably going to be off by, you know, two grams maybe or so up or down. Um, but anyways, it, it's hard to know. But anyways, uh, so what we're going to do is uh, because the shot cannot be pulled in 20 seconds from the first drip, which is kind of a good idea to, to go with um, on, on, on you know, espresso machines in general and definitely on super automatics. Um, but unfortunately, a lot of the super automatics won't let you grind fine enough to get those really dialed in to 20 seconds at first drip. So what I've done is I've gone a little bit longer than your normal espresso. So this is gonna be 2.5 ounces versus what a normal shot would probably be somewhere between 1.5 and 2. So it's a little bit longer, especially for 12 grams. Um, but that's okay. We have it set to high bar, 12 grams, 203 degrees. Now you can change that. Unfortunately, it doesn't let you go. It do, does these weird increments. So you're either going to have the option of 194 or 203. I think that 203 is probably better for the medium roasts that I do. Um, I really would have preferred like 200 if it could do that, um, but it doesn't. So that's what we're gonna be going with is 203. And then, um, yeah, 2.5 ounces. Uh, also, the high bar thing, that's an option on here. Just leave it at high bar. There's no reason, I, I couldn't think of one that you'd ever wanna switch the bar uh, on here. It's gonna be nine bars, probably a little bit higher, maybe 11 bars. Okay, so next up, we're going to do the Americano. The Americano is even a longer shot because I still think we can extract maybe a little bit more coffee out of this, um, yeah, out of this shot. So I did 3.3 ounces of um, espresso coming out. And then as far as the water coming out is like, yeah, I think it's based on time or something like that. Yeah, so it's basically what I'm do what I've done is do done eight eight ounces all together. So this is the amount of water I have. Yeah, so this is a water amount. You want to do two point two. Depends on how big you want, but what I do is, is at least for the espresso part of it is definitely go to like three, um, three or so ounces. Just because, like I said, I think that you can pull a little bit more coffee out of. Uh, the extraction with this machine because like I said you don't you're not really getting that 20 second time so a little bit longer isn't going to be the end of the world so next down the list is the cappuccino so my cappuccino settings are two ounces of espresso in and you could if you want to jump that up again that's probably not a big deal this is the this is the cup size I use I wanted to leave a little bit of room not too much and at, also too, like the it fell a little bit it was up a little bit higher so um, you know as it sits but then I have 30 seconds on the frother now I will show you how to get the froth dialed in on here you have a little dial over here on the side and I've showed this in my full review video um, but I was playing around with it and I found that you're definitely not going to be able to get it to the point where you have micro foam like like that you can make latte art with per se but you can get it to you know about what this is this is about as good as you're going to get 
So it'll be a little bit foamier than your normal, a little bit drier, as some people will say, than your normal latte uh, foam, but that's okay. Um, it gets the job done. So anyways, let's go back to the settings. So cappuccino, two ounces of coffee in, 30 seconds, which ends up being about six ounces or so, maybe a little bit less. Um, and then, uh, yeah, all, for all my espresso beverages too, I have it maxed out at 12 grams. That's as high as it goes, and I recommend you do the same. Um, so yeah, let's keep going through. And then I'll do the latte here. This is the last beverage. Now, the, the difference that, <laughs> that Terra Cafe does on the latte is that it just basically does the milk first, which is cool because you get the, you do get this like very interesting look where you have you know the white at up top, you have the, the darker in the middle, and it separates naturally like that. So it is kind of cool, but it's not. I don't personally think that that you know putting the milk in first versus second makes it a latte or not. Um, so you know take take that with whatever you know grain of salt you want to, but. I, I think that this is probably your best options here. So 40 seconds on the milk, which is gonna be a little bit more, which is kind of more traditional. You're gonna get a little bit more milk in there. And then, um, you know, 12 grams, like I said, on all of them. And then we're gonna do a little bit more on the coffee on this one as well. I, put, I bumped it up to three ounces. So let me just do uh, the latte for you to show you the milk actually you know what i'm going to do the milk i'm going to do the milk frothing first just to show what i how i kind of dialed it in so i'll, I'll try to get out of the way we're going to hit the milk button here and it's going to start to do this so you'll see once it start oh press the milk okay so take a look at the the froth there so as i change this back i'm making this less so this is, this is the thing, you don't want this. Even though this is not that far back on this setting here, this is like all, like all the way almost turned up. So what you wanna do is to, to get this to the best you know, possible cream you could do, just slowly do this, slowly go towards more air until you look at that and it starts to become a more steady stream. So, cause there we go. So right there is right when it became a steady stream. We're gonna hit stop and you're good. So, and it might vary on, you know, your machine and stuff. So I'm not even gonna show you where that was at cause it's not really worth it, I think. Um, as that, that has changed between the machines I've used. I've used a white one, I've used a black one and they have kind of differed on that. So go all the way to that setting and then actually what I would do is maybe push it back until you start to see that like sputtering and then just slightly go forward. So it's really hard to get exactly what you're looking for, but I think this is a, a good starting place for anybody that wants to, you know, get, you know, my settings for lattes and cappuccinos, but always do your own thing. You know, whatever makes you happy is good to go. So you have a question? SV would like to know if there is a better grind setting or what grind settings you're using. So the grind settings, like I said, on all of the drinks, I have it set to 12 grams, which is the most amount of coffee that you could put in. Uh, but I do have this to the finest setting. I think that on the Terra Cafe, as soon as you pull it out of the box, just go to the finest setting because I, I think anything less than that isn't really worth it, in my opinion. Um, so yeah, that was the settings on there. Let me actually make a latte just to show you what it looks like now, now that we've done all that. So I'm gonna hit the latte button. You can check it out. All right, so it's frothing first, like always, for the lattes. And you can see some bigger bubbles. I've ac I actually tried uh, frothing milk directly into a, a little milk pitcher to see if I could get latte art with any of the settings that I had. And you really can't with this machine, unfortunately. All 
All right, so it stops right there. Hopefully I didn't hit a button to increase the amount of espresso going in, but I think we'll be okay. It's gonna be close. Yeah, perfect. Very pretty. And as that sits and moves around, you can kind of see the colors change. I guess it's pretty, it's very pretty. So that was the Terra Cafe settings. I've had many people ask me for what I, you know, set these to. So there you go. If you have any other questions or you have more detailed questions on, you know, how to get the froth running right, just shoot them in the comments and I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks again.